Hi, this is Bill Kingsley with Team Kingsley. In this video, I'm going to show how the Hydra can be connected to DMX and control the Sprite. You can play up to 200 different videos on the Sprite from DMX commands from your external controller. You can set the Hydra to any of the DMX addresses all the way up to 512. There are various modes, one of which will only control the Sprite videos, uh, one of which will also allow you to control the eight outputs on the Hydra. So we have a USB adapter from DMX Pro made by DMX King. USB adapter connected to my computer and then back to the Hydra. Uh, the Hydra is set to channel 32, which is the default. And we can switch through a few files here rather rapidly. There is a slight delay when you're switching, but it's, it's much less than a second. Maybe half a second, quarter of a second. That's pretty quick. And then we can also turn outputs off and on just about as fast as that. I, my finger's rolling back and forth on the squirrel wheel, so that's about as fast as I can go here without fudging it, but you get the idea. You can, you've got control over all eight outputs from the DMX signals from your external controller. So this is just a close-up of the software from DMX King that I'm using. There's all 512 channels on here. It's scanning all 512 at 40 hertz. That's what it's transmitting at. And channel 32 is right here, and this is what I'm doing to change the files on the sprite, which is out of your frame right now. But uh, then the, the next uh, eight channels after 32, 33 on up, is the ones that will control the outputs of the Hydra. And again, you can, there's modes in the Hydra to, to skip this, so you just use one channel just for the, the sprite. Or you, or you can use nine channels and control all the outputs as well. And now I'll show you how to start the DMX software once it's loaded on your computer. Try one of the COM ports until you find one that shows up the DMX King and the serial number. Then we'll look at View. Click on DMX Display. and then click on transmit. That gets us to this screen and again we're on channel 32 in the Hydra so this is channel 32 so we can go over here and change this and it's jumping by 8 right now so you can right click on this and change the, the step value that it'll, each click will do so now we'll just go by one, one step at a time and then for the outputs we're going to want to, the outputs have to be right in the middle, is plus or minus, so we'll just jump this to 128, which is on. And then if our step value is still 1, we can just click 1 down and turn them off. So anything below 128 is off, and anything 128 or higher is on for these outputs. There, there is no dimming, they're on or off because of the hardware inside the Hydra, it can only be on or off.